Hello everyone and welcome back to Revit Snippets. Great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. Today's lesson will show you how to remove and clean up from your Revit model all those redundant AutoCAD files that you no longer need. Many of them imported DWGs. I will show you two ways to do this, the quick way and then the manual way. By the way, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe now because we do tutorials like this every single week. Okay, let's remove those DWGs. The easiest way is to use one of our Revit plugins. It's called RV Browser. If you haven't got it, simply go to the video description and there'll be a link there to get a 14-day trial of this plugin. That's plenty of time to sort out those AutoCAD imports, so you may as well just do this for free. Now, once you have got it installed, just go to Add-ins, under the RV Boost tab, you can see this one here, that's RV Browser. Simply launch it from there. It's going to scan the entire model for not only AutoCAD files, but also elements of other categories. So you can quickly get to them, select them, and do your editing to them. Anyway, for now, let's focus on CAD files. Under CAD files, if you double click to open that, you have both CAD imports and CAD links. The difference between those two is if you have a CAD link, when you change the source file and reload it here in Revit, you will see the changes populated here as well. If you, however, have imported the same file, the connection is broken. And this is where usually people have problems because they brought in something from AutoCAD as an imported object and a few months or weeks later, they don't need it anymore. But now there's no easy way to see and remove those files. Well, that has changed thanks to this plugin. I can now open this branch here. And then right away, I have independent imports and view specific ones. So, what's the difference between those two? Let's say I want to bring in here a new CAD file, I usually go to Insert, and then Link CAD. When I select something here, before I do Open, I have the choice to tick this box to make this one Current View Only or not. If a CAD file has been imported as Current View Only, it will show here under View Specific Imports. In contrast, if you didn't tick this box there, then your file will come under here under Independent Imports. And that's the difference. Now that's clear, we can now expand this independence branch. And I can see right away, there are two of them here. The structural base drawing and the wars.sat file. That's a 3D CAD object. If I want to see where they are in the model, how they look like, I can now double click on their name. And RV Browser will immediately select the CAD file for me. That's the one highlighted in red there. And also zoom to where I can best see it. In this case, because those are not view dependent, I can see them in 3D. If I, for example, go to here instead and choose one of the view specific files, for example, this stair one drawing there, double click again to open. I'm taken straight there into its view where I can see it properly. The same goes for stair two or zone one, you name it. This is useful because if you don't want to remove all your imported CAD files, but only some of them, you can go through them one by one, see which one you don't need anymore, and then only delete those. So, let's try to remove a few of them now. Simply check their boxes to select them. And when you're ready, just go up here and click on Delete. As you can see now, the file has gone from RV Browser's element tree, and they are also gone from your model. This way, it's super easy to remove any linked or imported CAD files you no longer need. For example, if I go to CAD links now, under View Specific Links, let's see what this one is about, Pile Details. So, just a linked CAD file that I copied a few times, I can now select all of them like this and simply delete them straight away. Now it's clean. Oops, there's one more left. This one can go as well. And there you have it. Alright, so that's a quick way to remove CAD files from your model. But what if you don't want to install a free plugin? You can still do this as well. If I now close this add-in down, we can now see how to fight those DWGs manually. Let's go to level 1 for example. Of course, I picked this view randomly, but if you've been working on the model for a long time, you may know from past knowledge which view you should check first because they are more likely to include DWG files. So, once you have the view selected, make sure everything is shown, nothing is hidden. If you want to be extra sure, you can also enable this review hidden elements mode. And then just do a cross window selection going from right to left, crossing the entire drawing area. That will select everything you have in the view. I can now go up here to the ribbon and choose filter. Let's check none to remove those selections first. 
and then I can go down this list looking for anything to do with .dwg. For example, this quick plan file there, or these shared dwg's files. It may take a while if you have lots of categories visible in the view, but once you have done this, simply choose OK. And now you have those two cut files selected. I can now do delete, and they are gone. Once you've got the hang of this, simply repeat the same thing for other views. For example, if I go to level 2 now, review hidden elements, select all just like before, check none, and hunt for those .dwg object name. Here's one of them. There may be more, but this one is good for now. I can now do OK to select it. It's there, and I can just now delete it. This is the only way to manually find and delete imported CAD files. Anyway, if you link them in, instead of importing, you can also go to Insert and then Manage Links. Under the CAD Formats tab, you can see now these are the DWGs that I linked in. From here, there's no way to see them in their context or view as we could do with the RV Browser plugin. But nevertheless, if you know by name that these should be removed anyway, you can select them from here and then click on remove. That will delete them from here and also from the model. Alright, so those are the two ways you can do this to clean up redundant CAD files from your Revit model. The first way again is to use RV Browser, one of our plugins you can try for free for 14 days. If you want to give it a go, simply follow the link in the video description. The second way is to manually select all in a view, filter for CAD objects, and then delete them. If you enjoy this lesson and want more like this coming every single day, make sure to subscribe to this channel. For now, practice these new techniques, and I'll see you in the next video.